What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I've got a Cinderace team, courtesy of the Urban Ranger over on the Pokesports Discord. Cinderace is a great starter Pokemon, at least it was back in Gen 8, uh, but now it's a little bit worse. Libero has been nerfed, so it only triggers once uh, per swap in, not every time you click a move, but that doesn't much matter because we're using a Choice Scarf set, so we're only going to be picking one move anyway. And that one move, 9 times out of 10, is going to be Coaching. Coaching boosts your partner's attack and defense by one stage, basically granting them a bulk up, and it can't be redirected, so don't worry about that, it will only target your partner. And so we've just got great partners for Coaching. We've got Zacian, who already has a sky-high attack and great bulk. We've got Ogrepan, who's already got a sky-high attack and okay bulk. And we've got Urshifu. Urshifu is an interesting mon to coach, because since it already crits, if you get below neutral attack, you hit basically as if you had neutral attack. So if your Urshifu goes to minus one in its attack stat, and then you coach it back up to neutral, that doesn't really boost the damage of Searching Strikes. So the idea would be to boost it past uh, plus zero to plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, we do get something to plus four or plus five in this battle, in the in this video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but anyway, you just start going ham. The Urshifu is a really bulky spread. Uh, we also have an Indeedy here with Imprison and Trick Room. Uh, so you can either Trick Room if you're up against a really fast team, or Imprison to stop opposing Trick Room. Uh, and also has Follow Me, just because that's Indeedy's best move. And then finally we have Latios. Latios with Soul Dew. It's our Tailwind user. It just does decent damage with Luster Purge and Draco Meteor. It's not a coaching uh, partner, but it's always good to have some special damage as well. So anyways, I'm excited to use this. Let me know in the comments if Cinderace is your favorite starter from Gen 8. I know it's not the best, there's some monkey that's going around everywhere, but I really like Cinderace. So let's get on with it. Alright, we've got a Kyogre Wochien match. Uh, they also have Jugulus, Urshifu, Ensign, and Grimmsnarl. I almost called it Rillaboom. It just Urshifu, Ensign, Rillaboom just rolls off the top. But no, they don't have Rillaboom, so we can have Terrain Control if we want it. I don't know if we really do. The way through this is going to be blasting. They've got a very defensive core there with the Ensign and the Wochian, and if I had to guess, some sort of defensive Kyogre. So the way through that is bulk. We don't really have much special bulk. So the way through that is blasting with offense. So we're gonna blast with offense. We're gonna go Zacian, Cinderace right off the bat. And just start blasting. Latios actually seems okay here, despite all their dark types. That's four dark types minimum. Yeah, no, I take that back. Latios is no good here. Uh, I guess it's gotta be Urshifu and Didi. Urshifu can take water moves just fine, can dish out some damage to Kyogre. Tailwind is something that should be considered. But I think Ndidi's speed control with Trick Room, maybe, and just redirection in general could be pretty good here. I think this is fine. I think this game will be decided pretty early on. If I can blast a hole, I think that their defensive core will crumble. If I cannot blast a hole, boo, no trainer card. If they can stop me from blasting a hole in the first like three turns, then I don't think I'm gonna ha be able to get them, you know? All right, they're gonna do fake out, they're gonna do a screen of some kind, fine. Intimidated me down, but I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna just commit to keeping these on the field and doing as much damage as I can. I'm gonna go Behemoth Blade and I'm gonna lock into coaching. And you will stop one of us, but not both. I will either get my attack boost back. Yep, I'm gonna get my attack boost back. You can have your reflect. And then I think I might want to slow play this at this point, because they've got that Reflect. They probably want a Parting Shot or Will-O-Wisp into Zacian here with both of their Pokemon. They might go for like double Parting Shot into Zacian. In which case, I should just Protect, 
get another coaching. I wouldn't mind that at all. Installing out turns of reflect is the way to go. Uh, Thunder Wave into Cinderace. That's gonna be annoying, but it means you probably don't have Parting Shot, which I don't mind then. Uh, you do have Will O Wisp. Don't like that. But what do I do about it? Nothing really. I kinda just have to accept that I'm gonna get burned and just start stacking attack boosts. Urshifu can deal with you later. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with Behemoth Blade on a Grim Snarl. And throw up more coachings. I don't care if you burn me if I get to plus six attack at some point. And Will O Wisp is not the most accurate move in the world either. Bye, Grimmy. And Will O Wisp. Misses! Told you, it's not the most accurate move in the world. But there's always a chance you just don't get it. And my defense boosts also are going crazy now. Uh, not that it matters, you had mostly special attackers, but... Like, if you were hoping to Flare Blitz, not happening. There's your Kyogre. Plus three attack, wow. Uh, no point in attacking right out. I could, I should just protect and try to get another coaching. Cinderace. Kyogre's max speed is 156. Yeah, with a para paralysis, Kyogre could definitely be faster. But I don't really mind losing Cinderace. And if I don't lose Cinderace, I get another attack boost, so fine. Still going for Will O Wisp. Cinderace was faster than Kyogre, but finally got the full para. And it's just Water Spout. Okay, that definitely takes out Cinderace. But I'm cool with that. That is A OK. -okay because I get to bring in Urshifu now. And start smacking left and right with your rain boosts. Thank you. Now, I think I want to burn Terra... Yes, because I need to blast holes. I need to do as much damage as physically possible to this Kyogre. And I'll just Surging Strikes the uh, Infinite slot. Which swaps into Wochian, probably. Wochian would make sense. That would reduce my damage to play rough. Yeah, smart. And also, Urshifu is gonna do nothing to that move. Yet. Maybe I should. I was thinking maybe I should just double Kyogre. Kyogre's the only real damage dealer they have. If I doubled into Kyogre, that was probably a better play. Oh, I just missed Play Rough. Well, that's fair. They missed Will O Wisp earlier. If they Water Spout, I probably lose. But I hope they understood they were taking damage and went for Origin Pulse instead. Which might not KO and has a good chance of missing. Yeah, it is Origin Pulse. Okay, we take that. Not beautifully, but we take it. Oof. That's rough. Uh, but the screens are gonna wear out eventually. Three more whole turns, wow. Uh, so I think my play here is just going to be protect. Wow, I don't know. Cause I feel like they might just pollen puff their own Kyogre here. Making my surging strikes do basically nothing. But I, I, I can at least lock them into that play. Oh no, they swap out into Incin. Okay. Trying to lower my attack a little bit here. Oh, that'll make you feel safe. You're, you're gonna go for a fake out on Azassi in this next turn when I bring in Indeed. Okay, I like this. This works out. 
I get a little bit of chip here with my surging strikes, maybe putting a U in stellar play rough range. I think that that feels like stellar play rough range. I'm at plus three still, I believe. And just origin pulse shouldn't knock out Urshifu anyway. Beautiful. I'm at, oh, I'm only at plus two. Still. Uh, I, I didn't burn the play rough stellar boost yet. Because it never actually connected. But I'll bring in Indeedee here. Good. It looks like they're not swapping in Sin. Or uh, they might be swapping Kyogre, but that'd be a weird play. Block your fake out because you didn't know I had Indeedee. And hopefully KO this Kyogre with play rough. It'd be, a, it'd be a huge deal to knock this out. It's not, game's not over, but yes, block the fake out. Come on, you gotta connect this play rough. Yes. And you gotta at least do 90%. Oh yes, we got him. We got him, bye Kyogre. Whew, that's great. Bochien is still going to be super annoying. Really is going to be super annoying, isn't it? They didn't even burn Terra. I imagine it's Poison Terra. Protect Zacian here. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. Big ol' Behemoth Blade. Follow me. Yeah, they are gonna burn Terra here, which means they're probably not gonna protect Wochian. Yeah, it is on Wochian. Good. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do to this Vochian. I'm guessing not very much. But this is a strong hit, and I am at plus two. And your reflect is still up, right? Woo! Critical hit! Goodbye! Good game! See you later! Oh, okay, we did it. We were able... It took a while, but we were able to do the big damage we needed with this Zacian. They could not slow us down enough. And Reflect is finally gone. Let's go. Sacred Sword. I'm using all my Stellar Boosts in this game. Battle is cancelled. Good job, Cinder. Cinder Race actually contributed a lot there. Those boosts were huge. Go get a trainer card. Alright, we've got a Zamazenta here. Battle of the Dogs. And I have Sacred Sword. Good. And I have Urshifu who can crit. And I've got Ogre Pond who can sometimes crit. Oh, but they've got their own fire starter over there. They've got Skeledurge, uh, along with Pelipper, uh, King Gambit, Rillaboom, and Grimmy. Grimmy the Grimmsnarl. Set Zacian gets hardwalled by that Skeledurge. But Urshifu doesn't. I know I need Cinderace, Urshifu, and Zacian. I don't know what order. And I don't know who the last should be. I think, though, Ogre Pond might be able to pop off. If I go Cinderace... I want to go Cinderace, Urshifu. I want to coach Urshifu, and I want to do big damage with Urshifu. That way they might be forced to Terra. And then in the back, just stuff that handles Rillaboom. Ogre Pond, Zacian. Should be good. Because I do think they'll bring Rillaboom, Pelipper, Skeledurge. Oh, they're so... Mm. Rillaboom seems good just against my Urshifu, but like bad against everything else, so they might leave Rillaboom on the bench. And I'm hoping they do, or at least not leading it. Skeledurge can be annoying, but if I bait out a Terra, that'll make it a little easier to handle. And they've got Shiny Dragapult card, nice. Shiny Ghost. Alright. You show me a Shiny Ghost card and I'm happy. 
Uh, ooh, there's Skeledurge right away. We got him. Uh, there's not really any point in coaching, because Skeledurge will ignore our attack boosts. But... Do I detect to see what their Terra is? Yeah, because there's no way they just leave Skeledurge sitting there as a fire type. That makes no sense. So I think I'll U-turn out into Grim and just detect. Because I'm predicting Skeledurge to go Terra Grass, Terra Water, and then try to burn my Urshifu with Lilith. Or start setting up with Torch Song, I guess. Yep, there's the Terra. We baited it out. It is grass. That's good. That is really good. That means Ogre Pond can come in and mess you up. Awesome. Yeah, we're just gonna keep this guy safe over here. We're gonna set up to reflect. That's okay. Urshifu goes through that, and Ogre Pond is just strong enough to do some damage anyway. This little chip might help you put you into Searching Strikes range. Good job, Cinderace. You put on the pressure. And... Definitely Ogre Pond now. Ogre Pond is immune to burns. Uh, though not, they wouldn't be burning that slot this turn. They're just... Yep, going for Will-O-Wisp into the Urshifu. Fine by me. Now, do I leave Grimmsnarl to let it do its thing? Uh, let's see, who else do they have? They have Pelipper. I think... committing Terra would be silly this early. I do think an Ivy Cudgel into Skeletor is deserved. And I kinda wanna just Surging Strikes the other slot, because, like, they could be bringing in Pelipper, which would make my Surging Strikes way stronger. They go for a Thunder Wave, but Ogre Pond dodges, because she's a boss. And they let me Ivy Cudgel. And it does a lot. Terra would not have been enough, because you don't get the plus one, because they have Unaware. I mean, you get the plus one, but it doesn't do anything. And we take out their Grimmy. Goodbye, Grimmy. Uh, are you going to go for another Will-O-Wisp? You are. Okay, you finally burned my Urshifu. I guess you thought Urshifu was a threat, but like... Urshifu was a threat to you when you were a Fire-type. You got rid of your Fire-type. You probably have Rillaboom and Zamazenta left. What do they care about in Urshifu? I guess Zamazenta cares a little bit, now that you don't have Terra. But I think... Mm, I don't know. I'll take that trade. Yeah, and you had Rillaboom the whole time! So like... You don't have Pelipper. You have Zamazenta and Rillaboom. I don't care about Urshifu. Urshifu can go. Who do I want to win this? I want to get Zacian in on this slot, but I don't want to risk anything. I guess there's not really much risk there. So Ogre Pond can take out Skeledurge from here. I'm gonna say Fake Out. I guess I can get some chip on a Rillaboom with Urshifu this turn. Yeah, they did just fake out Ogre Pond. Because I want Skeledurge to go down on the turn I bring in my Zacian. Hex! Oh, okay. Cool. I don't mind losing all that health on Urshifu. I kind of wish Urshifu had just gone down there. That would have been fine. But now we know they've got Zamazenta and Rillaboom and no Terra. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to commit the Terra into Ogre Pond now. I'm perfectly content. Because they have Will-O-Wisp and Hex. They probably have Torch Song. They might not even have Protect. Ivy Cudgel there. Bring in Zacian. I guess I could have even brought in Cinderace there and started coaching up Ogre Pond for the sweep, but having Zacian in is Pressure from two sides. 
And here's my Terra. The Terra will boost it a little bit, but the plus one won't apply when I hit Skeletor. But still, the Terra boost on Ivy Cudgel making it... making the stab Ivy Cudgel 200 instead of 150, that'll guarantee this thing goes down. Oh, they do have Protect. Great. So fun. And then, uh, did you U-turn out? U-turn out would be a good play. There you go. Nice play. Now I wish I had gone into Cinderace. Yep, there's your Zamazenta. How is this Reflect looking? Skeledurge is at so much health now. I did... I don't think... I don't think Ivy Cudgel takes it. Last turn of Reflect, if they weren't lights, Light Clay, but they totally were. Alright, so we're gonna double Skeledurge. Four. Yeah, we're gonna double Skeledurge. I cannot have Zassian get burned. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. It's a shame that Zacian has to move first, because, like, if Ogre Pond had gone first and maybe gotten the KO with a high roll or a critical hit, then I could have followed up with a Sacred Sword into their Zamazenta. But no, we didn't crit, so it probably wouldn't have taken it out. Goodbye, your fire starter. My fire starter will come in later to clean up. Body press, please don't, Oko. Yes! Well done, Ogre Pond. You're a beast. The grass is almost gone, too. How obvious is the protect on my Ogre Pond? Is it that obvious? Don't care. If I can get one more hit off with Ogre Pond, that would be enormous. And grass will end shortly. And oh! They did fake out the Ogre Pond. Nice! I'll ha I will have to swap out to get the uh, grass to end, because Grassy Glide should still KO. That does nothing with Reflect Up, oh my goodness. Uh, but at least you can't do more. Alright, I'm happy to give you my Urshifu on that slot then. And then come back into maybe Cinderace after this. I'll give you Urshifu, I hope you take it. Like, take the KO on my Urshifu, I don't care. And I'll Sacred Sword Zamazenta. Keep the damage rolling. Please, please don't double my Zacian. Yeah, there you go. Urshifu, you did great by exerting pressure and taking out Grimmsnarl. But I don't need you anymore. I am glad we're faster than their dog. This is gonna hurt. I think we. Oh. Ow. That could be a problem. <laughs> They've got a lot of attack investment. Okay. So, how do we win this? I don't think we lock into coaching. Last turn of Reflect. So whoever's left is going to have to do big damage to Zamazenta. I could Spiky Shield the last turn of Reflect, but Cinderace cannot protect. I think I want to double the Rillaboom, make sure it goes down. Ugh. I was hoping maybe to see a Protect. Oh, and hoping to get that KO there. This could still go either way. Reflect is about to end. Both of my Pokemon are really strong. 
And we got stab super effective fire moves thrown at this Zamazenta. Um, they do take out Ogre Pond, so... I guess I could have protected there. Rillaboom would have still been alive. I don't know. It comes down to you, Cinderace. Reflect is gone. You've got a really strong fire move. You've got a lot of attack. You've got a lot of attack. And no choice but to click Pyro Ball, so let's go. Yeah, get him. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Goodbye, oh. Cinderace. No! <laughs> oh. oh, such a close match. Good game, opponent. Oh, that was a fun one. Firestarter v Firestarter. Dog v Dog. GG's. Alright, we've got... Ooh. Shadow Rex Clefairy plus Annihilate, Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, and Raging Bolt. That's terrifying. But Cinderace has Snarl, which is very cool. It could come in handy here. Alright, Snarl Cinderace... On lead, 100%. Their best way around that would be like Final Gambit Ape if they're faster, which they cannot be. Um, I guess tearing the Calyrex, of course, but that's scary to do when I have Zacian in the back. And then, could just be an Indeedy lead, but that's way too passive. I think I need to lead something that can do some sort of offense. Like Urshifu. Cinderace Urshifu. That's not bad. It threatens uh, an Incineroar. And then uh, just having Indeedee and Zacian in the back. I want Indeedee in the back to uh, be able to block Fake out. Urshifu getting coached up sounds pretty nice. Is it bulky? Oh, it's very bulky. I love that. Okay, that might actually take a hit from Calyrex even. Love it. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. And then I guess the scariest thing is, what, Bolt? I can always land a play rough into that at some point. It's not like they can Thunderclap if I bring in Dee. Oh, it's the Friends. Okay, that's a fine card. What you got? Ensign Grim. Okay. Okay, I'm not too worried about this. I'll, I'm gonna go for a coaching and a surging strikes. I'm not gonna be able to get both, but I should definitely be able to get one. So you could fake that. But I, I don't want to go like into a needy right here, because your lead is so passive. I'm fine with wasting a turn to get an actual attack boost on her because the first one's just gonna bring me up to neutral. Which, I, I, when you always crit, you're basically always neutral. But the second one will get me a boost. So I'm gonna go for coaching here. Who's their surging strikes switch in? Bolt is it. They're gonna have to tear they're gonna have to Terra. If they Terra and burn me, so be it. Parting shot out. Alright, they're not letting me get the boosts. <laughs> oh, but surging strikes will still take uh oh, will it take you here? If you go into Clefairy to get the Friend Guard, plus a Citrus Berry, you can probably take this. That would be a cool play. No, it's just Calyrex. No, I think, I think you go down then. Because I'm coaching again, I'm back up to neutral, which means I've wasted all the attack boosts. But the defense boost supply, just not to Calyrex. Uh, that's not doing that much. If you're Barry, you get you can live this. You can live this. Wow. Are you gonna burn me? Good damage though. You're almost out of here. And oh, just parting shot into Cinderace. Fine. Now this is the part where. I wish I could switch moves, because I would love to start snarling. And back into Grimmsnarl. 
Okay, so getting these attack boosts isn't working. I need to go out. I think I'll go out into Indeedee here. That will lock in their Grimmsnarl. Because they might be wanting to go for a parting shot here. But this won't this will not allow it. And then I'll Terra Water just in case they go for a psychic move. And Surgeon strikes them. If they're like specs, Terra Ghost, Astral Barrage. I mean, I can't take that. But if they're anything else, I think I could take that. And with them having Instant in the back, yeah, that's not gonna switch into it. And indeed he won't take anything from a barrage. Now if they have Expanding Force for some reason and I just boosted that, well, yikes. Let's see if they go for a Terra, because I'm going for a Terra. They're not going for a Terra, so I don't think they have anything that can knock me out. I could just be going for a psychic move. I did boost their psychic moves. But this Urshifu has a lot of special defense investment, so I feel really comfortable doing this. Yeah, we block the parting shot. Awesome. And they just go for nasty plot? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You think you're gonna take this? You might. If you're really bulky, you might. But no, your citrus berry was on instant. Oh wow! Oh my goodness, you are so tanky. What? How are you this tanky? Oh my goodness. That is too much bulk. I'm gonna go ahead and set Trick Room on you real quick and just detect. Wow. Tanky Calyrex. I guess that, that's the way to run it. If you got Screens and Clefairy and Incineroar, that's the way to do it. Someone peckish is coming in. There's your Clefairy. Oh, and you're gonna start blasting. Gotcha. Oh, you know, you're gonna try to drain and kiss and such. Um, annoying, but manageable. Because you won't be able to do that, because I can redirect. You can redirect too, but so can I. And Draining Kiss won't do too much to my NDD, I don't think. I guess you could have after you prepare. Or Heal Pulse Clefairy. In which case I should just click Follow Me, then neither of those will apply. And I'll Surging Strikes, but you're gonna just redirect it, most likely. You're not gonna redirect it. Oh, you tried to go for the After You play? Nope! Follow Me doesn't allow that. Alright, bye Calyrex. This game's wrapped up now. You got no damage left. You fully committed to this Calyrex, and now you're done. GG's. Woo! Good job, uh, Cinderace. You participated in this battle. In fact, you will probably participate more late in the end. <laughs> yeah, they have. They would. They definitely have follow me. They have after you. Here's Incineroar. Who cares? I'm gonna go for. Oh, I've got Dazzling Gleam. I'm gonna go for a follow me, and Surging Strikes into Ensign. They could just quit the battle here. Like, you you have no damage left. I have a whole Zassian in the back. Yeah, good game. Whew, GG's. Alright, we've got a Koridon matchup. Koridon, Bolt, Farigarath, Chiyu, Fluttermane, and Shiftry. I guess that would be a Chlorophyll Shiftry on this style of team. Usually you would expect Wind Rider, but there's... I mean, it's the only Tailwind user on that team. Okay, uh, to handle Chiyu Flutter, I gotta use my Fire types. Don't hate Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond seems really good here, honestly. I like Ogre Pond, Cinderace. They don't have any terrain control. I could do Ogre Pond in Didi. Just redirect anything they want to do block fake-outs, and such. 
I think I'll do Ogre Pond, Cinderace, with Ndidi in the back, and then Zacian. I don't see much use for Latios, except for beating Bolt, but Zacian does fine in the Bolt. And Ndidi blocking Thunderclaps is nice. Um, Latios, it's... It might be okay into their Koridon, honestly. But I'm hoping Zacian's just faster, and that they don't use Flame Charge. Yeah, I think this will be okay. And then if they have Perigraph and they want to like mess with speed control that way, we can just imprison that. Uh, no trainer card. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Not a good sign. It's never a good sign. Alright. Pull right on and shift tree. We've got a potential fake out there. We've got a potential for a tailwind. I think I'm happy to just spiky shield and try to start coaching. I don't know if you would fake out a Cinderace. I don't know if you'd be faster than a Cinderace. I don't really know Shift Tree very well, if I'm being honest. It could be faster than Scarf Cinderace. Like, I, I feel like if it's max speed, it could be. But I don't know if it is max speed or if it would be max speed. All right, you gotta pick something though. You shouldn't be that threatened by Ogre Pond, because like Ogre Pond doesn't have stuff like Play Rough or anything. So no Terra came out. They let us coach, and we are faster than their ship troops. And we are now a fighting type. Uh, I don't think that really helps or hurts us unless they're going for like knockoff. Yeah, they just have Tailwind. And you moved for Koridon, so you were, you're not Wind Rider. And collision course, oof. I wonder if Cinderace can take this. Probably not. Ooh, go Cinderace! Let's go! Let's throw a cudgel into their Koridon now and make them choose. They can collision course the Ogre Pond, which would probably eat it and let me get up another coaching. Or you can finish off Cinderace. But you can't do both. Oh, you have foul play. Maybe you can do both. Oh, they doubled the- Oh, they doubled the Ogre Pond! Knocking it out. Ouch. Okay, so I coach nothing. This is not gonna be easy to come back. <laughs> Okay, Zacian, come on in. And just protect yourself and get in Ndidi. Oh man. If Ndidi can if it, they double it into Ndidi as I swap in, I just lose. Because I need to redirect, like, Flare Blitz or whatever Koridon wants to do. Off to a really rough start. Getting beat by a shiftry though, like, I gotta respect that. That's cool. Special defense boost is probably not gonna be very helpful here. And they're going for Terra, yeah, it's gotta be Fire Koridon. Trying to get more damage. Oh, it's Steel Koridon. Okay. Protecting. So maybe you don't think you can do enough damage. Foul play does bounce right off. That's nice. I don't think you take out Ndidi then, and you probably doubled. Yeah, you did double that slot. That's great. How's this Tailwind situation looking? Last turn of Tailwind. Probably be able to get up another one. I could Dazzling Gleam, but I need to follow me. I'm gonna Stellar Sacred Sword, try to do as much damage as I can to that Koridon, and just follow me here.
Next turn, if I still have Indeedee, I could try going for Trick Room as they Tailwind. Oh, they're not going for Tailwind. Repositioning into Chi Yu. Gotcha. That's gonna be pretty scary because. That is, are you Scarf Chi Yu? You gotta be, right? We get to follow me. They didn't for collision course last turn. Are they like... No, they are player points right now. Which indeed he eats pretty well. We'll get a big sacred sword into their Koridon. Blammo! Goodbye, Koridon! Great damage there. Love that. I do have to fear this Chiyu, though. Though Sun is almost gone. Could a Scarf Chi Yu knock me out without Sun? I don't know. Yeah, last turn of Sun. I think my play is to protect. And honestly, Trick Room. Oh, I think Heat Wave might just knock out Indeedee anyway. But if Indeedee dodges, or they go for some single target like Overheat shenanigans? I think they might try to set another Tailwind. They do set another Tailwind. Come on, Indeedee. You got this, right? It's just Heat Wave. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't think you got this. Nope, that knocks us out. Okay. On the plus side, they no longer have Sun. Which would mean Cinderace is probably faster than... Hmm. I don't think we'd be faster than Chi Yu in any way. But we're probably faster than Shiftry. So we'd probably actually go down to a Heat Wave. Well, I'm gonna Sacred Sword the Chi Yu because I hope we either live or dodge Heat Wave. And then Cinderace needs to live or dodge Heat Wave as well and lock into Pyro Ball. Yeah, there's no move better than Pyro Ball. It's not looking good. Double connect on the Heat Wave. And Zacian just goes down. Ah, oh, that's too bad. That Chiyu did not want to miss anything. Alright, GG's. Using Shiftry. Shiftry's cool. Very cool. Oracle? Interesting. Still need a trainer card though. Okay, Ice Rider with Blood Moon, uh, Urshifu, Gapdos, Rock Pond, and Flutter. Zacian can do some enormous damage right out the gate. Uh, the way they can get Trick Room up if they want it though would be Follow Me Ogre Pond. I don't really have. Red moves. I don't really have a way through that except for Fire Pond. Which could Mold Breaker. I don't know if that KOs though. So I think I like Zacian and Cinderace because that way I can get defense boosts right away, which will help against the Ice Rider. And then in the back, I mean, I could also imprison Trick Room. Is that better? I don't really know, because I'm not sure, that doesn't look like a hard Trick Room team. They could do something else, in which case I don't want to do that. Uh, I want Urshifu because it can take a Glacial Lance, and then my biggest fear would probably be the Blood Moon, which, no, oh, we're Terra Poison, that doesn't help. Uh, maybe just a Follow Me could be good in the end, yeah. And in this way, I'm bringing all of the targets for coaching as well, so if Cinderace just wants to lock into coaching, it'll work. <laughs> well, I hope it'll work. I'm excited to try it out, at least. And they've got a trainer card. Oh, with a starter. I'm playing a starter. Not, not one as good as Greninja. Fluttermane and Ogre Pond. 
Well, this is a great position for Zacian. Uh, but are you Speed Booster Flutter? Because that would make you faster than Cinderace. You are. But that means I get to stay a Fire type until after your attack. So maybe that's okay. Um, turning into a Fighting type could also let me resist an Ivy Cudgel. So honestly, coaching is the play. And then I think... I'm definitely throwing a blade, one way or the other. I think Rock Ogre Pond wants to take the blade first. Because I'm comfortable against these two with my Zacian. So if I don't knock anything out, that would actually be okay. I wonder if Rock Pond actually outspeeds this Cinderace after a speed... Oh, it does. Sorry, Cinderace. <laughs> This one ain't your match. Okay. Well then, we'll have to deal with just the plus one attack on the giant crazy dog thing. This would be a great opportunity for Aqua Jet, but we don't have that. Um, they're gonna have a grass move as well. Terra Water, we're Terra Fire, of course we're Terra Fire. I think I'm gonna go Ogre Pond and just Spiky Shield and try to get rid of the Rock Pond. I think Fluttermane might just be Icy Winding forever. So I'll throw, is it Blade? Blade hits everything. Play Rough might hit things a little better on Swap, but no one's gonna swap into a Blade. I guess they could have Water Urshifu. Oh, that'd be a, that'd be kind of weird to just bring that in like that. Flutter protects. That's good to see. That's great to see. Okay. Are you just gonna try to cudgel? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Kind of gave you my Cinderace for free there, but uh, at least I get to take this for free instead. All right. So we traded one for one, basically. But also my dog is at minus one speed. But now that you've burnt your protect, I can go after that slot hard if I want to. Ice Rider. Ice Rider, often terrace of fire, water, grass. If they're terra fire, Urshifu can handle them. If there are any other Terra, a plus one Ivy Cudgel is going to ruin their life. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. I assume they are going to Terra here, and I assume... I guess if it was water, maybe I should have read that and gone for a wood hammer or something here. I don't know. I also don't like that if they Terra and survive, I'm taking out Fluttermane and letting them get Trick Room up. Oh, they're just protecting that? That's fine. That's fine. What's Fluttermane gonna do? Shadow Ball to weaken something up, maybe? Oh, Fluttermane was going for Trick Room. Oh, nice try. Oh, they were reading the double into Cali to stop the Trick Room, and they were going to try to get Trick Room that way. That's clever. That's really clever, but I was too scared to double in because you still had Terra. Okay, in this case... I've got Wat Hershifu in the back. Blood Moon's actually scarier, but it can protect this turn. So I think I do have to double Calyrex now. And I think I'm going to choose Play Rough and Ivy Cudgel. Ah, oh, no Terra? Am I mistaken? Did they Terra already? That's just going to... Bye! I didn't need the crit there. Okay. Bye, horse. 
Now if I connect this play rough, it'll do a bunch of damage. Oh, it actually connected. Great. That's over half. Yeah, you can take that. I don't know. That's fine. Bye, Zassian. You did great. <laughs> oh, there's a crit. <laughs> a crit for crit. Okay. I assumed that was going to knock out. You're probably Life Orb. You're not Life Orb. Oh, maybe that wasn't going to knock out then. Maybe you needed that crit. That crit might have mattered. But, uh, okay, you still have Terra, but what Terra gets you around close combat and Ivy Cudgel? Nothing resists both of those, right? Yeah, nothing resists both of those. Battle's just cancelled. GG's. Whew. Not a great game for Cinderace, but a good game overall. And we are back. Overall, not a bad day for dubs. Cinderace only really very impactful in a couple of those matches. Honestly, Cinderace is super cool, but another coaching mod might be a little bit better than it. But like, it's Cinderace, so I, I props to you for using Cinderace, uh, the Urban Ranger. Great team. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it too. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.